Marcus County reporting. I'm going to speed read the morning news. A couple of good stories popping up here. I'll talk about it. turns out that some of the characters, some of the people, the victims, quote, victims of the Gilroy, the Gilroy Garlic Festival shooting were also, <laughs> you're not going to believe this, some of them were at Las Vegas. They were at the Las Vegas shooting too. You remember in, in, in the... Uh, the, the Thousand Oaks or whatever, the uh, Thousand Oaks in California, that those people also were in Las Vegas? What the hell is going on? Find out. Justice Department, not good news for, uh, for the conspirators that wanted to see Comey locked up. Ah, one of those, one of those, um, one of those suits or pursuits against Comey failed. Oh, no, man, fucking deep state. He stays getting stronger. Breitbart uh, caught a nice piece on on um, uh, Kirsten Gillibrand defining white privilege for all of us to understand. Uh, Epstein's got a human a human a human race <laughs> a plan to um, to impregnate scores of women in Mexico. Uh, that was one of Epstein's you know th- deals. We'll look at that. Uh, Ten thousand, a million documents dropped on his uh, lawyer's laps. They're asking for another year. Uh, so let's start with the Gilroy, Gilroy story. This is crazy, right? What's the chances of this actually happening, right? I, I, like it's actually being a thing. How many times does lightning strike in the exact same place? Uh, it's just crazy, man. It's just some crazy shit. So Gilroy Festival survivors also escaped the Las Vegas massacre in 2017. (laughs) Uh, It supports the the false flag theory, right? It does, it's starting to sound like that, right? This character, you know what I'm saying. Alicia, Alicia Olive had a unique perspective when shots rang out at the Gilroy Garlic Festival. Oh man, it's not happening again. Olive and two friends, brother Christopher and Cook, have now survived two deadly evenings, Sunday Festival in California, Sunday's Festival in California, and the 2017 shooting of the Route 91 Festival, Harvest Festival in Las Vegas, and that left 58 dead with no bodies to show. The deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. After the Las Vegas shooting, I felt like I would be there again. I, I would be there again, and it happened. Olive told the Fox station, "Angry. It makes me angry. Mm, it's just crazy, man. The the possibility of that happening. Right? It's just, I don't know. Same people in the same place, man. Very suspicious, man. So former Je- um, this is Comey. Comey skated again, right?" So Justice Department declines to prosecute former FBI Director Comey after IG investigation. Uh, now, there's a couple of investigations going on. You remember the, there's one in somewhere in, in Las Vegas? We'll find out. Former FBI Director James Comey will avoid prosecution after illegally leaking personal memos in the hopes of instigating the special counsel's investigation in 2016. Um, 2016 U.S. election as reported yesterday by The Hill. So according to Solomon, DOJ Inspector General, this is Horowitz, right, Michael Horowitz, that he had a separate investigation going on, referred Comey for possible prosecution under law governing the handling of classified information. However, Attorney General William Barr has declined to prosecute. Oh, well, I thought we were going to drain the swamp. Uh, I thought... A.G. Bars is moving in for the kill. I know there's probably another another one right behind it, right? Oh no, no, they're they're letting this one go so they can get the bigger one later. I know, it's fucking, I know, man. You slap devils, man. You got that shit all figured out, man. Fucking Q told you that shit. Right? Fucking conspiracy theory. Shit. Avoid evidence of Comey's intent to violate the law. Right? Everyone at the DOJ involved, quote, everyone at the DOJ involved in the decision said it wasn't a close call. Ooh. Unquote. An official told Fox, quote, they all thought this could not be prosecuted. Ah, huh. uh, drain that swamp. <clears throat> drain the swamp. If the nation's top cop doesn't have to obey the law, why does anybody? A double standard of justice is no standard at all, said Mike Huckerby. Oh, they're so disappointed they didn't get their man. 
Ah, I guess J- James Comey just write another book, go out, make another million dollars. Ah, fucking above the law. Trump, ah, you know, it's going to train this one. This is not the Inspector General Michael Horowitz report on DOJ and FBI f- and Pfizer, uh, Pfizer abuse. This is a, cu- a carve out. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? So apparently there's another, another one right down the pipe. In short, we will first see an IG report just covering Comey with a more comprehensive report to follow on Pfizer abuse. Okay, everybody on, on the count of three, hold your breath. <sighs> and we'll wait for the Pfizer report. Another bullshit thing. So this is, this is um, interesting, right? White privilege. Right? You white, I'm white. You white, I don't know if you're white. I know I'm white, right? I guess I'm white. And I have white privilege in the, in the country that I was born in, that my grandparents came over on the, the, the olive oil smugglers from Italy, came over and wanted to find a better way of life in America, but they were also white. So they immediately have white privilege, and they move to the front of the line of all the slaves and all the blacks. That's white privilege. So let's listen to Gaff Queen Gillibrand, right? She talked about the Trayvon Martin thing with the... Uh, if, you, if a white person's walking down the street with a bag of M&Ms and a hoodie, his whiteness protects him from being shot. That's Kirsten Gillibrand. Hopefully this is the last we see of Kirsten Gillibrand in any debate. Goodbye, goodbye. But here, here she goes. Let, let, let's help, let's help, let her help us to understand white privilege. By white privilege, just give us a definition of white privilege. You brought it up in the debate. So um, we have a real challenge in this country with deep systemic and institutional racism and it pervades all aspects of society whether you're talking about health care with our maternal mortality rate as high as it is especially for black women four times higher or education she didn't say she didn't say we have deep systemic racism uh she said we have deep systemic racism but she didn't say that that um that blacks or anybody else could possibly be involved in that racism, that blacks can't be racist against whites, that foreigners can't be racist against whites, right? She, her implication is clear. When she talks about widespread systemic racism, she is targeting white people. Um, student debt uh, is very high for people of color, particularly women of color, because not only do they- just, just women of color, and, and, and people of color have high student debt. Not everybody else. You have to borrow more, but then they don't get paid equally, so it's harder to pay back. To criminal justice, we talked a lot about that today. And to issues of the economy, like access to capital, making sure they can start their businesses, uh, have black-owned businesses, um, making sure that communities of color can thrive. And so the issue of white privilege is the absence of that constant, chronic, systemic racism um, that happens every day. And I just gave a couple of examples. My son, who's white, you know, if he breaks down in a car and knocks on a door for help, most people will help him. Get to move out of if shot. my son was black and knocked on that door, he might be shot. His whiteness is what protects him. That's all that white privilege is. And I wanted to explain that because we were talking about the issues of institutional racism and who could actually fight it. And I just wanted to say it's just not the job of Kamala and Corey to fight these battles alone. I have to lift up their voices and the voices of communities of color to make sure they're being heard. She, she points out that Camilla and Corey, the other blacks, the blacks on stage, that she's fighting on behalf of the blacks. My God, what the hell is happening in this country? It's so fucking crazy, man, right? It's just, I don't even know what to say about that, but I'm glad she said it so we have it on the record that she's a, uh, she's a confirmed racist. She, she sees black and white. She is a, you know, I don't know, man. I'd love to hear some blacks talk about this shit, man. You feel like you want this fucking lady giving you handouts? That's what it's all about, right? Like, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say about it. So this is interesting. Epstein, <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein back in the news. Epstein planned to seed the human race with his DNA by impregna- impregnating scores of women in New Mexico. 
there's nothing illegal about it. I mean, if it's consensual, if it's consensual where where the women want to be impregnated with a with a Jeffrey Epstein pedophile sperm, then they're welcome to do that. I believe there's laws that allow people to to you know accept sperm from a donor. Jailed pedophile, but it is it is interesting that he is um, a confirmed pedophile. <laughs> Jailed pedophile Jeffrey Epstein wanted to seed the human race with his DNA by impregnating scores of women at his giant ranch in New Mexico. According to New York Times, he also wanted his penis and head cryogenically frozen. He wanted to freeze his dick in his head. Is his dick head or dick the dick in the head? I guess his head. Fucking crazy, man. Why would you want to... Fr- He's going to freeze his dick, man. This guy is fucking, <laughs> fucking psycho. Epstein shared his, uh, his scheme with scientists and other confidence over the years, according to four people who were in on the plan, which reflected his long-standing fascination with, with what has become known as transhumanism, the science of improving the human population through technologies like genetic engineering and artificial intelligence. On multiple occasions, starting in 2000, Mr. Epstein told scientists and businessmen about his ambitions to use his New Mexico ranch as a base where women would be inseminated with his sperm and would give birth to his babies. According to two award-winning scientists and an advisor to large companies and wealthy individuals, all of whom Mr. Epstein told it, told it to. Huh. So he wanted to have as many as 20 women at once. Ah, is he going to, so he's going to personally impregnate them, right? Not just give his sperm, but he's going to go from, he's going to go from woman to woman. He's going to mount each woman and impregnate each woman live. (laughs) Ah, what else? What else about Epstein? It's crazy, right? That's what a bill, you know, keep making billionaires in this country. That's what they, that's what they sit around in their, in their billion dollar apartments thinking about. How am I going to impregnate 20 people and, and cleanse the genetic the genetic, you know, make the genes of the world better because I'm great. Uh, lawyers for Epstein uh, have asked, so Epstein, another story, Epstein is going to be in jail. His own lawyers are asking for at least a year to review a blizzard of documents. One million documents have landed uh, on the uh, attorneys for Jeffrey Epstein, uh, what is known as this discovery. And so his own lawyers are asking for a whole year. So Jeffrey Epstein's going to be down. I know, he snuck out the back door. There's people saying that. He's not even in jail. No, 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 he's not there. He's, uh, he, he slipped out the back door, and, uh, and uh, they, got a, they got somebody else in there. He's not even in there. And in a year from now, he'll just pop up to go to court and go back out the back door. That's <laughs> what so you guys believe it. Some people believe it. I don't believe it. The prosecutors have gathered against him in this case, um, so that's all, that's all the, the article really is, that a million, a million, the prosecutor, you know what, a million pages? What the hell, a million? God damn it, how many, what is, the, what, I mean, 500 pages, you know, 5,000 pages is this high. You know what, a, a million, a million pages is boxes and boxes of documents. Uh, there was also no mention, so they were in court, and it was no mention of, uh, is getting choked. It appears, I mean, the, the little bit I've seen that someone apparently choked him, but there's no, there's no uh, released evidence. What does the, what does the handprint look like? I mean, if somebody chokes you, don't you have the handprint? Don't you have the handprint? Don't you? Can't you? If there's only six people in the room and 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 doesn't the hand match the the the, the grip on his throat? It's just highly suspicious. Did he actually? Choke himself or get choked in jail. I don't know. But nonetheless, we don't know anything about that in a million uh, documents. Just hit his lawyers. This is really good, too. This is an interesting story. This was sent to me. Thank you. Thank you. You know who you are. Send me this. And um, this is a, a parrot that solved the murder, witnessed the murder, and then repeated it. Check this shit out. This talkative parrot helped finger a killer. You heard right. The bird's owner. Sorry about that. This talkative parrot helped finger a killer. 
You heard right. The Bird's owner, 45-year-old Marty Durham, was found shot to death at his home outside Grand Rapids, Michigan. His wife was also found badly injured with a gunshot wound to the head. Cops at first thought they were both crime victims. Then the parrot named Bud turned into a stool pigeon, suddenly squawking what sounded like a reenactment of the murder. No, no. Had a foul mouth argument broken out between husband and wife? No. Shut up. And it ends with these chilling words. Get your I felt it. I literally felt what the bird was going through. Bud is an African gray parrot like this one. They are a very... <laughs> is that crazy? The fucking bird is like a stool pigeon, right? The, per the bird witnessed the murder. The woman said that it was it was one thing, and, 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 uh, and it turns out that she killed the, the husband. She killed the husband and then took a, took a, fake, uh, a fake half shot to her head or tried to kill herself and missed. That's what intelligent happened. species and are especially good at mimicking human speech. Animal experts say African greys are very sensitive to traumatic events. Prosecutor Ellsworth Stay says he believes the parrot witnessed everything. The parrot was in the home when the murder was committed. Following an investigation, Glenna Durham was charged with murder, accused of shooting her husband five times, then turning the gun on herself in a failed suicide attempt. Why did she kill him? They had some financial problems on the day of the murder. Their house was being sold in a sheriff's sale, which is a foreclosure type proceeding. Glenna Durham was just convicted and was clearly not happy with the verdict. <laughs> Bud the parrot is now in the custody of the murder victim's ex-wife, Christina Keller. When Bud says those words, I feel like it's being relived in front of me. My house goes cold. What a great story, man. The fucking bird. The bird solves the solves the crime, man. Maybe, maybe the, ship, the police should get some birds, man. Like fucking, you know what I mean? Like, have birds. Never talk in front of a bird. Never do any, you know, that's like a, I mean, if you have a bird and you do something wrong and a bird is like, you know, you know the bird is a rat, the bird just repeats what it, what it see, sees, right? It's like a tape recorder. That shit is pretty crazy. So, uh, so that's, you know, I got some good stories today, right? So, I don't know. So, Epstein's going to be there for at least a year. You've got, uh, you know, no, no, uh, no prosecution for Comey. Sorry, guys, man. We got to wait. Got to wait after the election. No, it's coming. I know it's going to drain the swamp after the election. Right? It's a fucking Q. Q said that shit. Right? It's coming, man. It's coming down the pipe, man. Fucking Kirsten Gillibrand is a confirmed racist. Epstein's gonna freeze his dick and his and his head, his dickhead, and uh, a million pages of documents to go through. Right? Shit is some crazy man. It's crazy times we're living in, man. Freeze your dick, your pigeon, pig, your parrot rats you out. Fucking racists, white racists everywhere. Racists, fucking can't get no justice in the justice department. Man, fucking same shooters popping up. Same shooters and. In the garlic shooting, we're, we're at Vegas. Shit doesn't add up, man. I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know. Marcus Conte reporting.